What's up everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing quite a bit of maintenance on my Subaru. Um, as you see from the title, it is leaking gas from the fuel filler neck and uh, it just got rusted out. There's a plastic cover over the metal fuel filler pipe and a lot of debris and stuff got caught in there and rusted it out. So let me show you all the parts I got to replace the fuel fill pipe and the surrounding pieces um, and then we could jump in. So right here laid out is everything you'll need. Um, I probably didn't have to replace some of these things, but as you know, while you're in there, you might as well. So the main piece, fuel fill neck, OEM Subaru part, uh, yeah, that's going in. Then I think part of the leak too, there's a one-way valve right here that goes in the bottom of the fuel fill pipe. So replacing that in there, got a new hose because it's a 31-year-old car, it might be rotted out. That came with the clamps, which I actually rusted out. Um, then you have the vent hose. Um, I forget exactly how this bolts on, Some, somewhere around here. And uh, for that, we have the rubber hose, which connects it up to the fuel tank or the vent line going out of the car. Uh, we got the clamps for it because these are probably rusted out too, in bad condition. And then right here, we got a little gasket which is where the fuel filler neck seals to the chassis. Um, like I said, it's a 31 year old car. All these things are probably routed out. And then we got the hardware for the top of the fuel fill pipe. And we got some bolts for the plastic cover that goes over this. And one more, which I'm forgetting where it goes, but this all came as a kit from ICP. And uh, I'm shocked they had this because this is um, discontinued a bunch of these other parts are just kind of annoying to source but they had a kit and they had everything you needed to replace everything from the fuel tank back um, also I got this while I'm there because I'm pretty sure when I fill the gas up I do smell quite a bit of gas once I first when I first pump it so I got a new uh, gasket for the hanger um, Yet again, 31 year old car, while you're there, might as well replace this because watch, I would replace this and then this hose would rot out or I'd replace this and then this hose would uh, rust out. So that's everything we need. Um, so yeah, it should be fairly simple. I'm hoping it goes fairly easy as well. As usual, it may not, but keep my fingers crossed. And uh, that's everything. So now we gotta start taking apart my car. All right, so if you look right here, this is where the filler, oh, it's kind of dark. This is where the filler goes and there's a plastic cover on it. Um, this is what caught all the debris down here at the bottom and made it rust out. That's where I noticed it was leaking from. You could see all these stains on the ground from it. And if you look right here, you can see it's also rusting out, not just under the plastic shielding, but even up to the gas tank. So that's why we're replacing this. Hopefully this bolt comes out. Um, looks like it might not but then this hose up here and the clamps that's what I'm gonna also try to replace if I can get access to it but uh yeah right now it's this and then the fuel vent line which is right next to it so wish me luck I just cleaned this out when I checked it too. You saw that come out. You could see how rusty this is. Just flaking off. So somehow I got this bolt out, but it kept wanting to twist this upper bracket here. So I held this upper bracket with a 10 millimeter open, rent, open end wrench like so. Luckily I got that out because this upper bracket is actually welded to these vent lines for some stupid ass reason, but the new filler pipe does not have that bracket. It only has the other one. So thankfully we don't have to worry about this and I'm glad I didn't damage any other lines. So this hose clamp got to get loose with a 10 millimeter and uh, now we should be able to pull it out. Go. 
So in order to get this out, it looks like we gotta take off the sway bar, or at least just loosen this one side. Um, and then we could swing it up, hopefully, I don't know. We'll probably have to undo both these brackets, drop it down so then this can come out. Fucker. <sighs> ah, fuck. Nice. Now I'm covered in gasoline. Mm, fuck. Well, that's probably where the leak was from. All that rust right here. Jesus. Now you see I cut off the vent hose, so we gotta get the other side off of the, uh, the car itself. This gasket's probably gross, so... All right, let's put this aside. Clean some shit up and continue. All right, so both of these look the same, thankfully. Same with the vent line. I didn't think I was gonna have any problems, but if you look right here, that's definitely where it all started to leak from. Uh, and then the difference between these two, the top is this one has a little stopper, so you don't have to stand there and hold the pump in the States where this one was just straight through. So every time I got gas, I had to stand there and hold it. Hopefully this one will make my, my life a little bit easier. But um, let's get that new gasket on, get everything in place and start buttoning it up. All right, first things first, let's put this one-way valve in. It's sitting like that. All right, nice and easy. Next filler gasket this has two little guide holes so that's going to be facing down and obviously flat spot to the flat spot we got the new hardware i think it's the same yep this one's nicer because these are hex bolts and the phillips not just the phillips like you saw when i was removing it i'm gonna put this uh fuel filler pipe breather hose through the frame rail connect it to the other side which is what one of these new clamps are for Get that all situated. All right, good there. This hose goes on a new clamp. Get this situated here. All right. So, even though I got the fuel vent fill pipe in definitely keep these other hoses loose so in order to connect the hose on the back side of this you got to keep these loose in order to get access on the other side because it's pretty tight in there so now since I got the hose connected on the back side of this now we'll connect these other vent hoses to the bracket when you tighten these make sure they're not rubbing this bolt down here so I'm gonna hold these out of the way before I tighten them See, now you got clearance. They're not gonna chafe on there. So now we'll put in the fuel filler neck. All right, put the clamp on here, ready to go. Um, now we'll put this in. What is going on? Also, we need the new hose clamp. Don't forget that for the other side of the fuel fill neck. <clears throat> All right, everything in here is connected. You got the hose with the clamps on it. These two are bolted to the chassis. Next, we just have to bolt the face and put the plastic sheathing on, and then we're good to go.